What is going on guys? It's Ben from the Parker Brothers and welcome back to another fishing video. Today you join me, but today you join me down, down a good friend of mine and also a customer and someone I've built quite a relationship I would say over the duration of the last couple of months. Obviously since Parker Bates over the duration of the last year. Um, obviously we meet different customers and meet different people and you know it's, it's, it really is lovely it really is lovely so getting to the point now I'm in a position where um, a good friend of mine gentleman's name's Dean and uh, he's actually got a lake in his back garden there's two and a half acres and there's 40 pounders in it <laughs> you're talking me through earlier in that first time we've proper properly properly met we speak on the phone quite a lot we've got very Although he's got a lot more, um, how, how do you put that across? He's got a lot more sort of knowledge in life. He's a little bit older than me, um, but we've got sort of very similar interests and passions in life, and that be whether that be cars and, and the fishing. So we're so we're definitely on the same same wavelength there. But yeah, I've got forty pounders in front of me. So I'm gonna I'm here for the next forty eight hours. It's just been in the diary for a long time, and um, he kept it quiet. He's like, oh, I didn't want to say to you, Ben, but forty one eight come out of the other day. <laughs> 41 I I don't know whether it was a common or a mirror to be honest um, but it was one of his friends that had it it doesn't get fished it gets fished a handful of times but the lake don't do not get me wrong you know that does not mean that you can put a rod in the water and they're crawling up your rod to get in it's not like that up here and um, I think I'm gonna be set out to you know it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy over the duration of the next 48 hours but I'm gonna bring you on my journey and like I said I'm absolutely buzzing sorry I'm sort of not getting my words out as well but it's quite a, quite a big thing for me this you know 40 pounders from that uh, in front of me oh uh, or a 40 and um, a couple of good 30s as well which are probably 40 pound as well from um, the conversation me and Dean have had but they haven't been out since they've been stocked and they were stocked um, uh, a couple of years ago well back in 2018 and then a couple of years later done another stocking so it's got some tension here as well um, there's also well yeah a variety of different carp and different and then they're, and they're beautiful and one thing i will say guys is the pictures that i've seen they're like beautiful beautiful old english you know really english looking scaly bangers now i can't put that across enough anyway i'm starting to waffle guys but that, that is where i'm at that is what i'm doing and like i said i'm going to take you on my journey over the next 48 hours and hopefully this video is an absolute banger so what i will say is though guys before i start this video give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward <laughs> Boy, I cannot wait. Come on, a car. See you in a bit. <laughs> the rod's been out five minutes. <laughs> right hand rod, last one I put out. Um, this was on a um, OG fish wafter, our new ones. I'm sat there, just about to pull the kettle. I literally pulled the kettle out. I thought, I need a coffee. Um, and the rod is just melted off. I can tell you where I'm at the moment, but at the moment it's holding its ground. Blooming strong fighting. Just tapping its head lovely, but what I will say is Dean's thought about absolutely every single bit of this lake, and it's like an egg box out there, so it's not just a, a, a deep hole with a load of fish in it. Oh, he's thought about everything, and oh, it's, it's every carper's tree. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to shut up, just the first one, and hopefully next time you see me, <laughs> I've got this in. Come on! <laughs> well, I've done it. And what way to start? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little common. I think ginormous, but that is pristine. It's an absolute pristine common, and I'll, what I'll do is, I'm going to probably wait to show you. I'll uh, get her up. But what a lovely fish, clean as a whistle first one for me first thing I've done is we get the rod back out now obviously when you meet with this scenario and you're, you've got fish in your swim which they clearly are over there because that's the only place I've put a bit of bait the fish are on it and they drop down on it straight away so first thing I always do is get my rod sh clip her up get my wraps in this particular time it's just over 16 wraps uh, yeah sorry just under 16 wraps it is and um, yeah straight back out hit clip hit money obviously clip the bobbin up you're fishing again then you can deal with the fish and also gives the time for the fish to recover a little bit so that's exactly what i've done and i just like i said i just want to keep in the loop of exactly what i'm doing but oh what a way to start cool my, my little art went then when that rod screamed off i tell you that i just couldn't believe it 
other rods up here. Again, I'll touch on them too later. I'm here for two days. I don't want to just tell you all now, but yeah. Look at that, mate. <laughs> Ain't I lucky? Ain't I lucky? I'm going to stop there. But this is where I've had the fish, and there's a reason why I'm doing this. Um, and again, all makes sense later on. But yeah, that there is where I've had the fish. But come on, look up. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Common. And like I said, I'm going to get him back now. He's had a bit of a rest, and uh, hopefully, this is the first of many. Thank you. And come on, the OG fish wafters. Beautiful. Let's get her back. Wow. Right then, guys, the video's jumped a little bit. Um, but I've just been having a real good catch up with Dean. You know, really, really nice catch up. And. Um, exciting really i think there's definitely some things in the pipeline um and i think yeah i'm really really excited to be honest and um no more fish but we like i said we had a chat and um as as as, as the darkness come in um i had a few more liners on that right hand rod so what i've actually done is i've bailed my left hand rod i know this fish over there i keep getting liners i've had a fish of it off the spot already um which which is crazy even dean was like cool you've had one already i was like yeah i couldn't, couldn't believe it mate like five minutes of rod being out and i think that was lucky and that's not because they're mug fishing or anything like that i think that was very lucky to be brutalized with you um right place right time fish have moved over this spot was there numerous fish feeding i don't know if they what did that fish drop straight down and pick my bait up like i don't know um but i'm not going to put any more bait in um over on that jetty throughout the duration of the night um, unless I really do it still starts kicking off you know and I've got a few fish because I put quite a bit of bait out but and again what I'm going to do is guys I'm going to touch on it all tomorrow it's just been a mad one today I've had a long drive up here um, obviously meeting Dean um, so much to catch up on as well you know like I said it's just it's just been a crazy day it really really has so what I'm going to do is guys I'm actually going to leave it at that now because I want to lock onto the water um, because there's there's some good fish in it um some really really good fish in it um and that that fish that come out last year at 41.8 you know that could be 43 42 it, 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 it could be a good 40 um low 40 so i am absolutely buzzing for that and also you know two of the fish that he stocked one went in at 31.8 and one went in at 33 something uh he said i can't remember the numbers on that don't quote me on that they've never been caught <laughs> Never been caught now that, that that to me you can like now i'm not i'm not putting that on i am shaking that's what it does to me and that is how that's how much love i've got for this and to be on an to be given an opportunity that a lot of people don't have access to and you know to fish a lake um it's got some good fishing and it's a very private scenario here it's just yeah just it it's amazing it's a good feeling it really really is guys and that means a lot to me it really really does and it gets me excited and um like i said i think we've got a few trips booked in and this anyway i'm saying too much but yeah like i said come on the carp tonight i'm gonna to try my best i don't mind doing a night shift tonight although i'm absolutely knackered to be honest like i said the drive up i've had a busy couple of days i was in bristol with the lads over the weekend obviously it's monday now so I'm still recovering from that to a degree. Um, I don't I don't go out too often. It was sort of I do go out. It's a heavy one, and that's it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. And um, <laughs> come on, the forty pounders. <laughs> I see you in a bit. Oh, good morning, guys. And um, <sighs> no fish. No fish. But to be honest half expecting that sort of what i said yesterday i know it wasn't gonna be easy and i'm to be honest i'm sort of glad so i don't want it to be easy i didn't want to come up here and just go and catch loads of fish straight away um up, up most of the night you can probably tell i can got big bags under my eyes but um yeah i was up most of the night loads and loads of noise up here um i heard some all different things last night um loads of bird life loads of bird life and that that's quite frustrating because obviously when you sat there you think was that a fish was that something boshing but i think what realistically there was a lot there's a lot of ducks and um also a couple of geese and they were just flying all seemed to be all night um so i was up throughout the night really to be honest with you um god excuse me you could definitely tell um so plan of action today is is to learn 
observe and see what's going on really um, see exactly what's going on obviously I'm going to keep on at that um, jetty swim probably top up with a bit of bait over there because the reason for that is, is yesterday when I come up I, actually I didn't say to you but I actually gave him quite a little bit of bait over there sort of half a bucket I thought well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go in on one rod and um, that was a, that, that jetty rod was the particular rod I put a lot of bait over so I'm going to sort of play about with that today um, what I am going to do is I am going to touch on my rigs on this session and I'm probably going to touch well I'm definitely going to touch on my bait and my baiting approach as well so that will be thrown in this video as well I, oh god apologies apologies literally I've just woke up this is real time now like I said always trying to bring them a journey with exactly what's going on no uh cutting out the rough bits <laughs> but yeah now I'm excited for the day ahead um, although I've had nothing through the night like I said it's just nice it's I had a bit not, not a lay in but I mean like I said I was up I was up like one two four six um, and it's quarter past seven now so I've sort of been up every couple of hours really throughout the night like I said all that boshing and all the um, uh, duck noise um, was frustrating wind still sort of slightly kicked a little bit sort of going towards the jetty now funnily enough but coffee time for now like I said I'm going to sort of wake myself up a bit and I'll, and I'll touch base in a little bit but the first thing I'm going to do this morning is is I'm um, day ticket fisheries um, I would not be reeling my rods in now but I'm probably going to redo my rods here now um, and um, yeah have a little bit of a play about I'll see you in a bit coffee time now and I've got caramel I've got these bad boys where are they let me show you let me show you <coughs> I found these bad boys they're a pound a pound in my local Londis and they got a little bit of caramel in them and they're absolutely beautiful so that's the that's the plan of action right now well i've got a key in the loop i've got to. um so anyway right hand rod thought i'd redo it like i said before i exited the last clip hit hit the rod compress the rod and it hit clip absolutely beautiful it was about four inches off the end of the jetty and then i pulled it back onto the spot so i'm not fishing on the end i'm fishing just off it because it sort of goes across and down so i'm fishing at the end of that bit anyway i've done that and I thought what I'll do is I'll reel in my other rod that I put out there last night to the left. So I reels that in. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a rod over to my right. So it makes the links, puts the PVA bag on everything. And I looks up over here. Whacking great bit of big, big set of shoulders come out. And it wasn't a breach. It was a, it was a top. The fish come up, top the top of the surface and went back down again. He was coming this way. He come up and he went back down again. I was like, oh. <laughs> so with that, obviously the rod I had in front of me, I thought, well, that's going to have it. So I put one, I put one on its head, and I mean on its head. So then I flicked that rod round. So round the other rod, and that was against the island. Reeled that one in, put that up against the bivy. Obviously, then pick the other rod up and put that on that bite alarm. So that is fishing. Phones popped up probably five minutes ago now, but I had to keep you in the loop because that's the first proper show I've seen fish since I've been here. Oh, that gets a little art going, but yeah, definitely time to and sort of watch now and like I said observe and see what the fish are doing because again if you're sat here on your phone and a lot of people do that or you're watching your YouTube or you're doing whatever you're doing on the bank you miss all this beautiful scenery and obviously fish shows you know and that's the, the fish shows could put you on the fish could stop a blank um, could catch the biggest fish in the lake you know it's one of them just by seeing a small show because that probably has got numerous other fish around him so there it is I'm going to leave it at that guys and um, come on the carp just enjoying my egg roll, so I've just had one. Sat there cooking. Obviously, I said to you earlier, I put a rod because I saw a fish out there, the shoulders come out of the water. Anyway, cracking the eggs in, another set of shoulders come out of the water. Breach is massive splash over there, no ducks, no nothing. So, again, put a rod straight on it. Back to my egg sandwich, lovely jubbly. One almighty flat spot has just come out where I've punched that rod. Come on. Let me see if I can pull in. Terrible video and skills here. Look at that. Right in front of this tree. Again, the camera's not really doing it justice, but that's a very, very good sign. Right then guys, so I'm starting to establish what's going on here now and to be honest I've seen a fourth show now and the fourth show is just sort of, well just here in line with this tree. 
come up three times. Three times. He said it was a 20 pounder. I would have said it was a sort of a low 20. Dean was sat with me. He's like, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. He goes, yeah, that one that big. I've seen them twice the size of that come out. Cheers, Dean. Don't scare me, mate. <laughs> sort of sat there thinking, crikey. You know, he's saying, oh, yeah. They come out like dustbins in there. Definitely, definitely seen bigger, but anyway, it's yeah, it's exciting stuff. Um, it really, really is. Um, the fish are definitely down this end. We've got some lovely, um, some lovely, lovely um, weather coming in this afternoon, so I'm going to play about at this end. Um, this is the shallower end of the lake, and up the other end, you've got the deeper end, and again, I'll touch on that later, later on, excuse me. But four shows, I've seen four shows in the space of an hour. And I didn't see anything yesterday, so that's a really, really, really good sign. Come on the cup. So I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but this place is like an egg box. He's thought about every single bit of the lake. When to play, oh my god, look at the flat spot. That is on me. That is on me. <laughs> I better get around to them rods. There's a bar there. I think I'm going to bail that right hand rod, fish over the top of it tonight, but that I'm going to put maybe drop it with the pole on top of that bar, which is where the fish jumped out of the water oh my god that flat spot right so this is where i'm at i've got a bucket in my hand i'm going to head around now left hand rod i've bailed the right hand rod left hand rod i'm going to fish along that bar but i'm actually going to drop it with the pole so i'm going to head around there now and i'll touch base with you when i'm over there right well i've picked my lead up as you can see i'm in contact now with the other with the other side but what i'm going to do is now i can't do both i can't hold my camera and keep that line off the top of the water and so I'm going to get caught in these trees so now I'm going to do that and I'll touch base with you when I'm with my pole over there I'll see you in a sec right I'm going to make this quick <laughs> generic stiff boom there with an OG which is basically our new Parker Bates uh, wafters with a tiny little yellow topper there it's about a seven inch boom whacking great big lead um because i want but i'm dumping my leads as well and there's a bigger reason for that i want that lead to come off so i'm in complete contact with the fish and there's no harm in this hitting the side of the fish thing because it's come off when you're playing it what i've done is in here let me grab a scoop of this look at that look at that there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down in here like this trying to record myself as well it's ain't easy when you ain't got a camera man there we go it goes in there like that and then, this is our new flat spot product. I just twist the top on the top there. I've already shaked it, by the way, and I'm just going to squirt. Oh, just twist that a little bit more. I'm just going to squirt. You don't need much of this. In there like that. This is like hemp oil and steroids. It really is. And there it is, the flat spot. So there it is. Twist that off. Throw that back in there. Push that back down. Absolutely stinks. I can go in there like that. I like to fish it right at the end. And also know that now I can tip that to the right and then I'm still going to be presentation, presentated. Sorry, I've made the mistake before. We've all done it at used poles. You tip it and you've tipped it the wrong way and then you've got your line caught around your blooming pole. So, next stage is now. I've got a few lengths with me. I haven't got all my lengths, but enough to get out on that bar, which is sort of just, just running through just there. So that's where I want to try and get it. And again, where that fish showed when I was sat over there with Dean. So let's do that now. Right, wow. Well, there it is, and I'm literally on that bar now, so I'm gonna tip that, twist my hand to the left now like this, drop that down, slightly pull it over there, give it a little shake, so I don't wanna to make too much disturbance. And now, that there needs to come in, and to go around, tighten up, get my line lay. That's on the money, my son, come on. Right guys, well hopefully you're getting this. As you can see, I've lifted my tip up, so now I'm going to drop that back down to where it was, pick the whole rod up. Now the plan of action is just to get that line lay 110% and the way to do that is just to, just to keep slowly teasing that line through. Obviously again I'm fishing a massive massive lead, that also helps with not pulling it off the spot as well, that's another reason why I use a big lead. Um, but what I'm going to do is now I'm going to slowly 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 just tighten up, obviously like I said I've got that bow there. I do not want to pull the rod off the spot. So there it is, done. Line lay on point, takes a little bit of time, but my God, is it worth it? Because if you do get bites or liners, the indication is a thousand times better. 
what a lot of people do I see on lakes they cast it out don't put the tip under quickly put the rod on the pod and that's it they just leave it and actually the lines wow out wow, well out so there it is that's what we'll do now and hopefully that's a bite so very very quickly what I just wanted to touch on is obviously what I just put up on that rod so I brought a lot of the chops with me this is the OG fish chops I brought all OG fish with me OG fish chops and I brought a load of washed out these are beautiful look at this just 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 fall apart in your hand basically like a mush I've washed these out and obviously I've added the sauce that's been in there for about I don't know three days something like that so they go absolutely lovely and something that's got a real close place in my heart fishing washed out bait especially when they look like that the fish think they've been out on there on the on the bottom on the water bed or the or the bottom of the lake bed sorry for a couple of days and I just feel they drop down on it a little bit easier and obviously then are complemented with the sauce itself you can see how you know I put half a bottle in there and it's gone absolutely lovely it's lovely stuff and it's obviously the, the liquid that's water in there as well the liquid itself is really thick but it's a liquid food and that pulls into the bait it makes it better than it already is so that is the baiting approach for this session oh, and also a little bit of hemp I can't lie but a little bit of hemp in there it's generic hemp um, something I've been playing about with so yeah there it is this is where I'm at at the moment I've pulled the jetty rod away um, and I think it's really good to just leave bait and let fish um, just comp get confident on it feed on it actively and get down and repetitively keep going down keep going down and then hopefully this evening when I put a rod out there they drop straight down and I nick a bite um, but yeah I'm going to leave the rods it de definitely another hour now I'm going to probably leave them till midday because I'm going to get too hasty and I keep moving rods um, yes I've seen fish yes I've punched rods to show them fish but now I've done I'm not going to keep doing it um, bit of a different variety going on I've got a different butter over here I've got Louis butter alarm over here my old ones um, they aren't working 100% but they're my, my lucky alarms and I'm out of a place where I need to be lucky so <laughs> that's, the, that's the science behind them no science at all but yeah <laughs> wind again starting to pick up now it was flat over the back there but now it's starting to pick up trickling down the end and like i said all going straight into that jetty side so and it has been doing that for the whole time i've been here so that's the plan of action for now time to lock on for the next hour and just keep my just sit on my hands and just just observe and see what's going on lots to learn lots to learn baby so I'm down the other end now in a completely different look of the whole lake itself. Now this is the jetty where I said I had that first fish um, and I've obviously put a bit of bait in and I've left it for now. Um, so this is this end, this is the deeper end of the lake and again loads and loads and loads of features out here. Bars, like I said it's a bit of, bit of an egg box really, a bit of everything going on. Some nice gravel patches as well I found out there. And um, the island over there in the middle lovely 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 perfect banks absolutely perfect <laughs> look at that absolutely beautiful looks mega and you can tell by the wind where, which way it's going but i hope i pick something up tonight i really really do You know, there's not much that gets me going. It really isn't. You know, you know, I sort of sit up linear and you sit on the big waters or waters with bigger fishing. And I haven't felt like I've felt since I've been sitting up here. I didn't get no sleep last night, to be honest with you. Sat there dreaming about catching an un, an uncaught 30. It's just, you know, that is what every carp, carper's dream is. And that's definitely my dream. And, <laughs> and like I said, there's nothing that gets you more going in my eyes than having that in front of you to yourself come on the carpies
seems a silly thing to say, but it's little things like this that make every single one of these trees has been planted. And it's not all just the same tree. I can't sit here and say I know which ones they are, because I don't. But what I'm trying to put across is it's just beautiful. You know, every, everything's been thought about. Every single piece of the lake has been thought about. You know, beautiful plants. And it's not that, you know, it's maturing. But you, you think of this in the next five years. This could have a 50 pounder in it. The way the, way the fish are growing, you know, <laughs> this in your back garden is just... <laughs> You know, it definitely opens my eyes up. Let's just say that. It's, I'm just going to say that, but it's you know, beautiful. Everything's so, so nice. You know, that blue in the water. I spoke to Dean, he's put the blue dye in. And anybody who watches the vlogs would have seen me at Monument Fisheries or RH Fisheries, and they've done the same. I think it makes it look like a beautiful blue lagoon. It's just definitely something I keep saying. Um, we need to get up in, in, in the lake at home in the factory, 100%. Um, Parker Bates HQ, we definitely, definitely, definitely need to get this blue dye in the water. Because it just looks unreal. You know, the camera's just not picking that up. If I go down there, it looks a little bit blue, but it's just beautiful. It really, really is. That had to be done, didn't it? I've smashed half a packet. Me and Dean sat there last night. Got a few Garibaldis. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Well, I just took the drone up and what I'll do is guys I'll put that up on the screen now as I talk about it but yeah so I pulled the drone up over the over the spot over that bar you can see the bar the yellow bar through there I'm fishing just off it and there's clouds coming up so I left the drone hovering where I needed it to so it's obviously directly above it put the put the um, camera angle straight down lifted it up and then I've obviously lined up where I know where the rod is it's on me it's on me so there's fish feeding on that but it was obviously quite a big scoop of bait and um yeah obviously again it's not easy like i said so fingers crossed it's a good sign that they're over there and they're feeding because that big plume coming up but um definitely definitely not touching that rod now and i'm probably gonna have a little wander around in a second and see if i can see it with my polaroids on so good news but i thought i'd just keep you in the loop right tips up i'm not going to record this but i'm going to repeat the same process i've actually done it the other side i'm going to drop it with the pole um directly where i saw the fish or primarily the fish this morning what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over no hemp no nothing i'm literally going to put in i've got that there little og fish with a bright eye on the top there og fish 18 mil straight out the packet there and then inside here i've got the washed out 18 mils that i prepared blue peter style a few days ago so i'm going to put them over the top just the boilies big fish love boilies and um in my head that's what i'm going to do and hopefully it nails an absolute nosser i'm going to go around there now see you in a bit you ain't going to believe this so that rod i've put up threw some bait over it come back round by the time I've come back round, I'm tightening up the line, I've dropped the bat line, I'm thinking it's taking line, and I didn't react to it quick enough. And it's went straight, there's obviously a snag over there, because it's pulled me into something over to the right. And look at this. I have been done big time. I've never had a Fang X hook, this is a Nash one, pull out like that before. Never. Never, ever, ever have I seen that before. And I've had 50 pounders on them. That is... Yeah. Gutted, mate. Absolutely gutted. That that rod must not even been out that long, and they've reacted to it. But anyway, I'm going to get um, compose myself now. Um, basically, redo the rod, and hopefully, um, the fish stay over there and ain't spooked him. I ain't just lost my chance there. No, that could have been an absolute not a pig. But anyway, positive vibes. Let's get this off. Remake it. Happy days. Right. Wow. That's the right hand rod back out on the jetty now. I've given it a good few hours. I was going to leave it later to be honest but I couldn't help myself so I've put a rod over there I dropped it with the pole again it's just it just went down lovely so I know I'm fishing 100% on all three rods now and I think it's just time to sit back and I think I'm going to do a few foodie bits in a minute because I'm actually quite hungry so um, yeah I'll catch up with you in a second right so I've got some fresh chicken breasts and of the famous spicy rice so I'm probably going to have that I don't normally do I normally bring the buy the um, pre-cooked chicken but I thought look at the size of them so it's gonna be interesting got some ketchup in here uh, Dean's wife kindly give me so I'm gonna get that in a second and probably have some of that in the roll with it but yeah that's the plan of action let's go on one of these one of these in the Ridge Monkey see how that goes Wait, right let's see if this works Bosch 
much it's time to wait. The rice takes seconds, I just warm this through. I do this every time. If nobody's watched the channel before, you're new to the channel. People know I'm an absolute, I love, I just love my rice and I really, really do. And, it, and, it, and it's just quick, easy, fills you up and then you can concentrate on the job in hand and that be the fishing. So yeah, if you haven't tried that, get on the spicy rice. Put a bit of milk with it to hope that it would steam it maybe. Seems to be cooking all right. Right, well I've just had to smash it to pieces with the knife to get it cooking properly, but that'll do the job. I'm not shy. Look at the Frank's hot sauce stuck to the pan there. Oh, Ben. Oh well, oh God. Flip her over. Bosh. Don't look out very appetizing, but I'm sure it'll be all right. It's in there. Hopefully I don't get food poisoning. Yup, tell you what mate, that don't look so bad now, just call me Gordon Ramsay's cousin mate, look at that, <laughs> nearly done I think, I'm going to give it a little bit longer, and then I'm going to scram, lovely, right well that's me done, I'm going to smash that out now, lunch with a view, chicken and rice in the element, all I need now is an absolute screamer. Oh, and the chicken and rice is 10-10 by the way, so um, like I said, if you haven't tried that, definitely give it a bash. Again, so I'm keeping you completely in the loop. After my chicken and rice, I've quickly walked around and I've just topped up with a couple of handfuls of bait, fresh bait, because obviously I had that run straight away after, maybe they reacted to the noise, so I've just done that over there and just tried that and see whether that uh, brings on a bite quicker. So there it is, that's what I've done. It's coming up to three o'clock now and still no fish. Wind's definitely picking up going down that end. But what I've done is I've just walked around every spot and just sprinkled a few pellets over the top of them. And um, I'm just gonna leave the rods now. I've been playing about them the last sort of 24. Now the next 24 is now time to let the, the rods do their thing. Um, like I said, yeah, it's not it's not going to be easy, but I think by doing that, I think the fish are going to then move in and be a little bit more confident if I, if I don't sort of smash. They're not used to rods being in the water, so that, that in itself is a problem. Um, but also the noise, the noise that I'm making, hence why I keep dropping it with the pole, and I don't want to keep... Yes, you get ducks, land. Yeah, I get that. But it's like spawning. I've stayed well away from spawning. I'm almost scared to do that here because they've just never seen it before. So you imagine if you were at home and someone started throwing a rocket at the top of your roof, you know, you, uh, you'd be going, mm, no, not, not, not a fan. So that's just my thoughts on that. And I think, I think that's the right thing to do. I really, really do. You don't need to spawn. It's two and a half acres, not, not sort of 22 and a half acres. So yeah, I'm going to sit back now. Like I always say, lock onto the water. Lovely scenery, ducks flying everywhere. There's loads of ducks, geese, everything on it. Watch them as well, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the day. And I guess I'll watch the night roll in, and hopefully some nosses and all. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. a long way not the biggest one in the lake but it's an absolute it's got some lovely scales on it so I can't wait to get out and show you and hopefully that means the start of something over there and hopefully that means the fish are sort of moving in or starting to feed proactively Kachina, yes come on come on man
absolutely buzzing. Obviously second one for me and obviously the biggest so far. But what an absolutely beautiful thing this is. Fell to the OG fish, 80 mils on a sort of combi setup. But look at that, it's a late double. It was 22.4 with the sling, so I need to take the take the sling off. And I don't honestly don't know because it's Dean's sling, but what a beautiful, beautiful fish. I'll quickly show you the other side. It's got that lovely C scale sort of up the back of it. And like I said, definitely one to look out for. And it's got some very distinctive scales on that side, but it's solid. The fish is absolutely solid. It's got some reds on the back of it, some yellows. It's got a real light belly, but it's absolutely solid. And it looks so healthy, so, so healthy. <laughs> right, anyway, Rod's back out on the money already. <laughs> Time to get this one back. And hopefully, like I said, the first of many come on the carp. She is just recovering. Thank you, Mr. Mirror. You have literally made my day. Look at him slowly, proudly going back into the pool. <sighs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right, well, after watching over there vigorously for a good 45 minutes an hour, not seeing nothing, I have now bailed that rod. Obviously, I had the fish over towards the jetty, so I need to make sure that, um, well, that's I'm make sure that I've got that rod out there, basically, so, which is exactly what I've done. Um, how do I do that? So I'm fishing one, so I've got one off the jet on the jetty and one just off there. So it's where the oak is, just off to the right of it, slightly further than the jetty. But I thought I'd keep two rods over there, being that obviously I've just had that fish. I had that fish about you know, an hour or ago, something like that. So. That's where I'm at at the moment. Again, keeping you in the loop every step of the way of exactly what I'm doing and the sort of background of to why I'm doing it. And um, hopefully that produces another fish. Come on the carp. It's coming up to five o'clock now and no real updates. I've been watching on the watching the water. The only thing I have seen is a fish clatter, which was that again down that way, but the other side, sort of more towards the middle, if you like. Sort of come up, shoulders, come up again and then sort of stopped um, good fish good fish we low 20 I would have said um, which is good because it's a good sign obviously we're coming into the night the fish are down that end the wind's still pumping down that end and I think it's going to continue pumping down that end so hopefully it pushes the fish with it and like you say I have one hell of a night a sleepless night with nosser pigs coming out of my ears it'd be lovely to catch some real nice ones it really really would so that's the update for now like I said I'm merely just keeping you posted um, with the time and what I've seen over the duration of the last couple of hours. I'll see you in a bit. So dinner time now. I'm cool, really pushing the boat out this week, Ben. Look at that. Some nice lamb. So I'm give that a try. I'm just literally just going to cook them and eat them. Um, that's the plan. No rice. Fed up with rice. So that's what I'm going to have for my dinner. They look absolutely beautiful as well. Not too thick, but let's give them a go. And there they are. They're in there. Whoa. We're getting there. Again, guys, I'm not going to record much more of this now. I'll probably catch up with you in a little while when it's dark. I'm going to enjoy that now and do my usual. I'll see you in a bit. Wow. There it is. The dark is definitely coming in. I'll flip you around, turn you around. So the dark... Oh, turn you around that way. That's better. Yeah, so the dark... The night is coming in now and... It's actually the wind's picked up massively if I'm honest um, again still absolutely churning down that end which puts a massive fart a smile on my face because obviously the two fish I've had have just been over to the left of where the wind's hacking traps are set um, right hand rods perfect middle rods perfect drop with the pole left hand rods perfect it dropped with the pole and is literally on the left hand rod um, that is a big fish rod and the reason why I say that is I've literally just put 80 mils over there 80 mils washed out 80 mils and that is it and I've got an 80 mil of a little topper on the actual hook bait itself and that's my left hand rod so if that rod goes I'm going to be shaking because it could be saying absolutely ridiculous so just had a lovely chat with Dean again he comes around in the evening we have a nice chat together and that and like I said I thoroughly enjoyed that to be honest it's just it really is a pleasure to be here and I'm so fortunate to to have opportunities like this and um I, I just really am you know and it's it, 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 this this to me and I said it to Dean it's like the unknown and I think you know I've fished burners I've fished lakes of 50 pounders in English 50s and 
I don't get the same buzz I do here. I think it's the unknown that keeps it keeps it exciting and keeps it like, ooh, you know, what if? What if? You know, it's two thirty pounders of that. If they've really been getting their heads down and the growth rates are better than the other ones, they could potentially be forty pounders now, you know, and I could be catching an unknown forty or a forty pounder that hasn't been caught. You know, and that to me excites me massively. It really, really does. So I'm gonna leave you with that thought guys and I'm gonna go into the night sort of confident-ish but you know just one decent one would really make my trip i've sort of said ding you know a good 20 would be lovely i know i keep saying a 40 or a 30 a good 20 would be lovely because even the 20s in there are absolute scaly bangers and that to me in itself is, a, is an achievement this won't be the last time i'm coming down here so um so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave you with that thought go into the night and um like i said i'll probably keep you posted if i catch anything for, throughout the night guys but if i don't I'll um, touch base with you first thing in the morning. I've got a few more foodie bits um, I'll get it to, um, and uh, I'll see you then. So fingers crossed, next time you see me, I've got a nosser in the net. Come on the OG fish, come on the flat spot, and um, I'll see you in the morning. All the best. Right then guys, so that was a right hand rod in the end on the single, that was the OG Fish, it was an 18mm, excuse me, with a tiny little uh, uh, pink topper on top. Best one for me so far, and probably, if I'm honest with you, it's probably the best fish I've had this year so far. Mid 20, just over 24 pound this one, but what a fish, I mean come on, they don't get much better. That's it, eh? Scales coming out of scales is a lively one. This is probably, I would say, the better side of them. I'll try and get up again for you. That's definitely the better side. But what a character, mate. And this is one of the smaller ones, isn't it? <laughs> I'll quickly show you the other side. And me and Dean just said it's got quite a, um, a mark on the back of it, which you, you'll definitely be able to tell going forward. Oh, And that there guys is the other side i'm absolutely over the moon it's early doors still there's still plenty of time and what an absolute nosser <laughs> thank you very much mr mirror get in there go on mate you got all the time in the world And off he goes. There's <laughs> a submarine. <laughs> wow, what a moment, man. Wow, what a moment that was. I don't even know what the time is now. Smiling from here to here. Half past ten. Early doors, early doors. So that was what, what a moment it was there with Dean, you know. And we're going to redo the sling in the morning. Not that I give, I care about what the weight, the weight was. The weight is irrelevant to me, you know. That's a fish that maybe nobody's even caught before, and that, that to me in itself is just. I think, I think the smile says it all. <laughs> so that's that. Um, couple, couple of little things and a couple, maybe tips and maybe, maybe you might be able to use in your own fish. And this is just the way I fish. I'm not saying it's the right way. It's just the way I do things now. Um, I've been struggling with casting at night when I put my head torch on. So I've got my head torch on, I put it on the spot, but as you're casting, you look up at your tip to make sure you're coming through and obviously you're, 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 you're coming back with it unless you're holding your rod up like this. When I'm using, when I'm doing a lot of close quarter stuff like this, I'm pulling the rod back. So I'm not, I'm not holding my rod here, I'm pulling it and, and pushing it back. So what I'm, try, what I'm trying to get across is, is by taking what I've started doing is, and I've started doing this the last probably six months now, I just never said in my videos, but I take the head, I take it off and I put it on the floor. I've got the Ridge Monkey head torch and I put it on the, 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 the long range mode and I put it on the spot of where I want to cast. And what I find is, I know it's such a silly thing to say, but what I find is I can hit spot a lot cleaner, a lot more accurately if my head torch is not on my head. 
um, and then I can gauge exactly where it's land, uh, where it lands. That moves on to my next thing we're going to say, sir. Now I've put the head torch on. It's six. It's, it's sorry. It's just under 16 wraps out towards this jetty. Went back, clip, hit it, hit down. I'm thinking, right. I didn't see it. Damn it. I haven't seen where it's where it's landed. So anyway, I've carried on, committed to it, filled the clip down, got my dong, crack, and I mean that crack again, it's not just like a soft dong, it's a crack, like they're obviously feeding on the spot or they rub against it over there, it's hard, put it that way. Haven't seen where, the, where it's landed. Now, such a sim simple thing, a lot of you probably yeah, I've been doing that for years, Ben, but for people that don't know, uh, what I do is, I, you can like leave your clip on if you want, but I, ta I've, I take them a clip off at this point and I put my tip down and I slowly tighten up the slow, tighten up that line as much as I can without pulling that lead. Now that's a big thing, a lot of people, again, I've said this in videos before, definitely, because a lot of people put their tips down and do it all, you know, really fast and then boom, pulls, you know. I've seen it where I've done it on the own lake and I've tightened up myself and I've actually moved it and where I thought I'd being careful with it, I've actually moved it three inches but then if you're in weed and you've pulled that hook link in three inches into weed it was game over because you're not fishing so anyway, going back to what I was saying I've tightened up, I've got the tip down slowly, slowly, slowly tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, tighten up and what I do is I point the tip to exactly where the line is going and obviously then I get the head torch again shine it on where the, where the line then sits after playing it through very carefully and that particular time just then it was absolutely it couldn't have been better i'm lining it up and there's like a boat on the end of the jetty so i've like tightened up pulled the tip up i've got my torch i'm looking down the line look at the line look up at where obviously the line's heading towards and it is it's it's perfect it's perfect now some of you probably might have looked listened to that and thought ben that's absolute rubbish and um I, I i know that i've been doing it for years like i just mentioned earlier but i'm sure there is people watching this that maybe maybe they might use that in their own fishing now and it, and, and it might help it might put a fish on the bank but that's something i've been doing and it's been helping me massively with my nighttime fishing if you like so there it is time to sit back now um digest what's just happened <laughs> and hopefully um, have a few more and what I'm definitely going to do is tomorrow guys I'm going to touch on um, my rigs um, the, uh, what I've, I've had two of the fish on I've had two of them on one rig and, and um, one of them on another so I'll touch on my rigs tomorrow in a little bit more depth because I know a lot of people that watch the channel do want to learn or or, or or see more rig stuff and that and that's what I'm going to do tomorrow and also there is going to be a giveaway in this um, uh, video um, I've decided and I spoke to my brother about earlier so we're going to do a giveaway in this video and everybody loves the giveaways and it's going to be not just one pot of hook baits it's going to be a pot of each hook bait so I'm going to give a pot of the OG fish hook baits away and a pot of the OG fruit and nut hook baits away at the end of this video guys you're going to learn exactly how to enter this particular um, competition so please stay tuned and um, check that out at the end and like I say be in for a chance to win yourself some free pop-ups or sorry free wafters here at Parker Bates so like I said back to it now time to lock onto the water probably give it another half an hour 45 minutes and I probably should get some sleep so I didn't get much last night I'll see you soon guys well, I'll see you soon hopefully with an, with an absolute nosser well, hey so early the hours here it's just coming up the sun's just coming up but another little common terrible video in here apologies i've just been woken up not complaining whatsoever but a lovely lovely smaller common there again pristine absolutely pristine but i'm not going to get him up for a picture or anything i'm going to get him straight back thank you very much mr common yes wow, that is the rod back out again i told you what i've done last night i've done exactly the same because five minutes ago it seemed to be darker although it looks quite light in the camera it's not as dark but to be honest with you i'm absolutely knackered because i was up in the night um not as much as the night before but i was up so i am going to get a couple more hours sleep now and i'll touch base with you when it's light hopefully i'll get woken up by a 30. come on wow good morning um so this morning laying in bed and uh, after I said to you I'm going to get some sleep now I got um, a lovely awakening by this common nothing massive um, but I'm happy nevertheless real dark thing definitely one to look out for in the future but it's pristine again you know absolutely beautiful real dark on the top lighter belly 
and I'll probably give it sort of around that sort of maybe 14, 15 pound mark. But there it is again for you. What a beautiful fish again. Um, same rigs as I've been doing them on the last few days um, and that was on the OG fish 80mm bottle bait of a little pink topper again so they're absolutely loving them rod's already back out on the money first thing I've done just while this one was having a little rest but yeah let's get him back thank you very much Mr Common oh a little slap there and uh, <laughs> coffee time and I'm going to have a uh, Egg, egg, uh, egg rolls. I think this morning. Egg, egg, egg with um, like a tiger, tiger bread or something. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. Happy days. Wow, my lovely clean pan there. Couple of eggs and some ketchup. That will do me for my breakfast. Just had my coffee, and the rain is definitely, definitely starting to come in. It's stopped there now, but over the duration, the last sort of 45 minutes, it's been coming in. I've got away with it, but I do think it potentially could help the fishing. Right, let's get these eggs cooked. I tell you what, I've got to give it to Ridge Monkey. That does eggs very, very well. It's the first time I've done them really on the Ridge Monkey. I normally just use a generic frying pan. But um, yeah, that does them very well. I had them yesterday as well. It just, yeah. No problems with sticking and all that. Happy days. Bosh, look at that. A little bit of ketchup in there. Gonna eat them like that. Beautiful. Lovely. This is what I mean about rain. Look at the state of my bivvy, mate. Oh, it's falling apart. But, I'm dry at the moment. Oh no, there's a drip. If it's gonna start doing that, I'm gonna have to get the outer bit. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to pop over to the car thing and get the outer bit. Look at it coming through. Ah, and there's the rain. <laughs> Right, time to pop to the car, I think, and get that outer shower on. Let's do it. Right, wow, well, that's the outer skin on now. If anybody's got one of these, Defender Broly, this is, like I said, it's about 15 years old, but you know what? If you've got something that you love, don't fix something that's not broken. So if anybody's got one of these in their garage, I don't know, shed, and they want to sell it, and it's in good condition, let me know because I would like another one of these, just a brand new one or, or a newer one. I just abuse mine on a daily basis. It's quick to put up, you know, nice colour and it's just easy to do and that's what you want when it comes to a bivvy, something quick. Wind's still trickling across, it's sort of kicked a little bit now, it's going across. But like I said, I'm getting back in here now, getting out of that rain and enjoying that view. Come on. Wow, it's another absolutely, sorry about the wind there, scaly banger. I would imagine it's a 20. But what I've done is I've flung my rod straight over on the bank the other side and the first priority is getting that rod straight back out on the spot because there's obviously fish over there feeding. That's fish number six now. I'm not going to waffle because I'm going to get the rod straight out over there. This is what I'm doing. Again, I'll touch on this in a little bit. Wow, there it is, a smidgen under 20 pound, and another absolute cracker. Scales coming out of scales, it's just beautiful, beautiful fish. I you know, I'm struggling with my words, because they really are. A little bit of a mark in its mouth, so I put a little bit of carp hair on it. And there's a little mark over, I don't know if it's new on the other side, I'll show you in a second, but I've put a little bit of carp hair on that, again, so it's, perfect for the next one and swims away and obviously cures up but mate 
thank you very much mate thank you very much again you've made my day fish number six OG fish 18 mils with little toppers just doing it again and that was little that was um, a single on its own drop with the um drop the pole <sighs> brilliant I'll show you the other side again so there's the other side again just as beautiful scaly 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 bangers let's get this one back rod's already out on the money already as you guys know hopefully this is the first of many i leave tomorrow sorry about the wind there i leave tomorrow um about 11 o'clock ish but even if i don't catch any more now i can go home one happy man <laughs> thank you Right now, just a little bit of bait prep. I've been using a lot of the sauce on this trip. Obviously, the, this particular sauce, I was soaking the 18 mils, which are in here. Let me show you. Obviously, this is what I've been having most of the fish on. That was a full bucket when I turned up. That's how much bait I've gone through. But they're lovely, mate. Look at them. So that's them, like I mentioned. Um, and then I've got some just generic little bits of park in there, nothing special. And then I've just been bombarding it with the sauce. And I've also got our new stick mix here, but the stick mix isn't out yet. I'm still playing about with it, I'm refining little bits. Um, just, just, just getting this 110% before it goes out. This is going to be a game changer. It is a game changer. It's been doing me fish. I just haven't been putting it in the videos. There's the other sauce there, the OG uh, fruit and nut sauce, which is again. It works very good with the fruit and nut boilies, but again, I use them with both. I use both on both, and I have done so. What I'm going to do is now, I'm just going to flood it with a bit more. Really pull them down. This is going to be the last hit of bait now before we go. Um, and the reason for this is, is because that fish there was passing, it had hemp coming out. So that means that it's been feeding on my spot over by the jetty, but I've caught it in my rod, rod, rod in front of me. So why the hell has he moved off the spot? Does that mean all the bait's gone? But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just how I think. But So that's been in there, festering the stick mix, just to give it an extra one. There's like squid extracts in there, um, Himalayan, um, crushed hemp seed. There's some nut content in there as well. But again, I'm already saying too much. So plan of action is now to go around. Put that off the jetty, last hit of bait. There's not much in there, this is real, there's only about that much left at the bottom of the bucket, although it looks like a massive bucket, there's only that much at the bottom. So I'm gonna pit that over there, over a big area, and hopefully the fish move in tonight and I can nail one of them big boys in here. <laughs> like I said, that rod's out. Definitely need to clean my hands now, because look at it, looks like I messed myself. Oh, this water's beautiful. It's like a bluey colour. I know I've mentioned it a thousand times, but it's just lovely. Right, let's head over and get that bait out. Come on the carp. Right then guys, I'm going to make this short and sweet, um, but I just thought, I don't know if I've done it in this video yet, but I thought I'd take you down the other end of the lake. Um, look at this, look at this review, the house is directly behind me, you know, imagine, imagine, you know, what a, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing to have in your back garden, it's just absolutely crazy, um, it really, really is. You know, we're quite fortunate down the factory um, that we've got a lake down there, but not to this standard this is just another level this is just a different level completely different level anyway 
Um, I thought I'd just quickly touch on obviously what I've been doing. So obviously you saw me prepare that hemp and what I've done is I've put it at the end of that jetty over there. Um, that was that last big hit of bait, loads of the sauce in there etc. A little bit of particle and stuff and some, um, some crumbed up boilies, shout of the bag and also some 18 mils as well. And I've been feeding that the duration of the whole time I've been here and that's got the biggest hit of bait. I haven't had the biggest fish, I've had the smaller fish off that, but I know the bigger fish have been feeding on it because booming that one earlier, like I said, was passing it on the mat. So, obviously before that one last night, the lovely scaly one I had was, so I don't know if you can see it, the oxygenator normally goes right there. So the two little bits popping out the water, I had that just off the left of the oxygenator. And I, all I've done is just come up here with a brand new packet. These weren't washed out ones, by the way. These weren't washed out OG fish, 18 mils. And I just literally went over and threw about 20 baits all around it. Not on it, all around that area. So it gets them down in pecking and pecking. And, and the takes are so much more aggressive when you do that, I think. That rod absolutely tore off last night. And it gave me a right merry dance around the lake. And then it went behind the island. It took about 50 yards off me there. Across. And it, I managed to pull the rod back, back round, it got back round and then it went off up here last night and actually landed it just, just round from um, where I'm fishing, but God, mate. So hopefully tonight the fish move in down this end. I've now put two rods on that for that reason. Obviously the fish pass and I reckon I have been done or not, maybe I haven't been done or I just haven't been picked up um, at all. There's clearly been fish down there feeding big time. So last hit of bait. Two rods on the money, one with a little um, artificial bit of plastic corn because um, maybe they're picking up the particle bits and maybe holding off on the bully a little bit. Although I have been catching them on bully, but they might be jumping down on the smaller food particles a little bit um, better or, or uh, how, how do you put that across? And more confidently getting down on them smaller food particles. So uh, on the other rod, so I've got that, that's the little yellow, little, little yellow bit of fake corn. And then on the other one, like I said, I've got, I've got a um, just a generic 18 mil, um, which I've been having them on with the little pink toppers. And what I'm going to do is, guys, because the wind's so bad, I'm going to head back round now and I'm actually going to show you um, that rig. I'm not going to tie it, but I'm going to go over it. And if it's something that people want to see tied, that's maybe something I could do at a later date. But there it is. Let me head up now and I'll show you that. Right, so as promised, I wanted to sort of touch on um, exactly what I've been having the fish on. Now, this is the chosen uh, rig this particular session, sort of a combi sort of setup, if you like. Um, what I've got is on there, I've got some, this is, you can use your any chosen braid. This is a 30 pound boom section. And what I've done is there on the end, I, as, as a lot of you know, and I've spoke about in the, the before, other rigs I use when I'm fishing Ronnie's or 360s, I cut the kicker right back. So it's half the size of that. But when I'm fishing a longer, a longer, um, uh, rig I always like to keep that longer so then you get that effect in the air and it kicks the rig out on the cast so moving down from that so you've got the kicker or sort of the, the, the I call them kickers I don't even know what they're called to be honest I've called them kickers for years because that's exactly what they're doing they're kicking your link out um, but it's just that's just a generic quarter one in the um, sort of gravel brown colour going down to the end there some supernatural braid and what I've done is there I've got some um, I've doubled it over and just looped to looped it um, on the end there so I've tied it tied a tied a loop on the end and then what I do is I put a so you drop that through put that through uh, put that through first but before I do any of that as you can see there's quite a, there's quite a big bit of a uh, shrink tube on there now that shrink tubes the medium shrink shrink tube in the in, in the silk color and it's a rigger hook as well it's the gut it's a gardener hook it's a size four i like big hooks big hooks big baits or or, or big hooks small baits depending on the scenario um but yeah what i've done is i've just pulled it over the iron there's probably two mil there and what that does is it makes that even more aggressive than it already is it's a deadly hook anyway because of the way the eyes turn on them and if you ever get a pack of them you'll see exactly what i mean um but it's, it's a deadly method so where, where do I use this? What scenarios? I mean, this is perfect for this sort of setup, but I also like using this on big fish waters, you know, linear, um, burners, haul. Um, you, you can fish this at range. You can also put, because you're not fishing any beads on there, although with other uh, rigs, I'm not going to touch on it today, but um, other rigs, I do fish beads and I have fished PVA bags on beads. But because you're not fishing that, that shrink tube is a lot stronger. So what I mean is you haven't got your, your bead pulling back and then you're not fishing 100% uniform. Um, so by putting that on you can then put a bag on it as hard as you can you know 
that your your 80 mil on this particular hit this bait here i've been using 80 mil og fish this has got a yellow topper on but i was catching them on the pinks um but yeah there it is like i said i don't want to waffle guys absolutely devastating rig in its own right um quite a long rig probably about 12 inches there it's quite a, quite a long one and um yeah it does the job for me and every single fish i've had on this particular session have all been absolutely nailed so there it is and that is my sort of rig of what i've been using on this particular session rig what i've been using on this particular session happy days a little check-in it's just gone half past one and um no 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 more fish but just i am in my element say to be honest the, the wind's blowing it's been raining uh, been raining well, I'm in my element because I know that wind is absolutely hacking towards that jetty and it's got it's got it's got to push fish over there. I'm, I'm going to think it pushed fish over. That'll make me feel better anyway if I say it does. So, <laughs> no, no. I, think, I, I generally think if the wind keeps packing in that corner like it is um, over the duration, then it could be a busy night. It could be a really busy night because the wind's been aggressive the last couple of days and it's sort of been going down the pool but now it's actually going in towards that jetty and I would say more aggressively the wind in here has been going like this all, all, all morning so yeah that just like I said just merely trying to keep in the loop with everything I'm doing and um, you, can, you can hear it now but I'd like to think you could hear it through that camera but yeah loving life I'm probably gonna have some lunch in a second I don't know what I'm gonna have but won't record that um, won't bore you but again, if I have any fish, have any runs, beeps, etc., fish shows, you'll be the first to know. I'll see you in a bit. Ooh. Posh Garibaldi's. One of my lovely customers um, come down and you give me two packs of these. You know exactly who you are. Who you are. Really appreciate it, mate. So I'm going to tuck into a couple of Garibaldi's now in a caramel latte. <laughs> Oh, they're good to me. Look at this, real treat. Oh, more ketchup. And I got, Dean said he picked this up yesterday, some real thick, like tiger. Oh, look at that, mate. An inch wide. That's gonna make that sandwich taste even better. I reckon I'm gonna have two slices with my um, eggs now. I've got two eggs in there. And I think I'm gonna have two slices with my chicken and rice tonight. Really pushed the boat out. Look at these underneath there. My little eggs going, lovely. Been a little piggy today, but loving life. <laughs> it's coming along now. I'm gonna make like a toasty with it. Like push that down. Oh. Who needs a toaster, mate? Look at that eggy sandwich. Right. Anyway, that's enough food. Hopefully, I get halfway through this, dripping like an egg sandwich, and then the rods absolutely melt off. Come on, the nosses. <laughs> I honestly can't believe my luck sometimes. I really can't. Um, so that middle rod, I've put out, it's about half a rod length going the wrong way. But at the last minute, obviously the wind's going towards the jetty. The last minute, the wind's kicked it round and it's went, ting, clips went out, hit clip, lovely, and sprung it out towards the jetty. Uniform, donk, crack again. Like I said, not a donk, it was a crack. <laughs> Thank you very much. So that rods went out absolutely lovely. Um, and I haven't um, had to disturb it with loads of casts. So thank God that's went out. Really happy with that. The other rod on the right hand rod, I am fishing um, exactly the same hook bait on there. But that's slightly off more to the right. So it's sort of just off the back of the baited area. Now the reason for that is, and I've picked up bigger fish doing that in the past, especially places like Lily. I always fish a rod just off it because I think them little ones come in. Or the bigger fish let the little ones come in, feed see if anything gets stared and then get tagged and I think what they do is they start pecking from the outside and work our way in that's just my just my concept if you like on it um, and it's definitely done me some big fish in the past you know 40 pounders as well um, so yeah I'm gonna leave it at that um, like I say happy happy it clip and um, all I can do now is sit back and like I said just watch the water I'll see you in a bit <laughs> Well, I'm all tucked up in bed and it is absolutely smashing it down. Thunder and lightning, complete change in the weather now. Crazy out there. The wind is still hacking, hacking. 
down that corner there towards that J. Five minutes on, <laughs> it's like a different lake. That was crazy, absolutely crazy. It was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rainbow there was. You can just see the ends of it there now, but what a moment. Wow, savage, absolutely savage that was. Oh, soaked now, everything's soaked. Look at this. A couple of cent centimetre there of water. God. <laughs> I'm glad that's done with. Beautiful, beautiful. Cl clouds over there and then one. Oh no. <laughs> so one extreme to the other. Alright, well, I'm around the other side. I thought I'd give a little top up before it gets too dark. I know where I'm fishing because there's, there's a couple of lilies there that are sunk down in the water and I can just about see them. Try again. Oh. Yeah, that's on the money. I want it and that will do you can see the sauce coming off lovely right that will do that's that one and that there that last little bit can go on the um jetty swim or jetty spot let's go there now happy days next spot i'm gonna do something slightly different here so i'm gonna just Anyway, I'm going to put the camera around, but I'm going to spread them, the last sort of whatever, 20 baits in there, I don't know if you can see them. Them baits, all around this area, so it gets the fish pecking around. I've got a rod over here somewhere, and I've got a rod just down there somewhere. Happy days. Right, wow, well, I'm back around the other side now. My bivvy's just here, and um, like I said, I've just topped up with that last bit of bait. Um, am I going to recast tonight? Probably not, if I'm honest with you. If, you, if you've got a donk, you know you're fishing the right right rigs. Again, I know I've said it a couple of times in this video, but don't fix something that's not broken. Um, so, I just don't think the, the fish have dropped down or picked up my baits yet. I'm gonna go with that. And um, that, that's that's my thoughts. So I'm gonna leave the rods. Like I said, got a crack. Left hand rod I dropped with the pole. So I know that's 100% because I was fishing foam as well and quite a lot of it. So I know that that um, link will sit up in the air and then when the, when the, when the foam just uh, dissolves, She's going to be sitting back absolutely bob on. So that's it now. Time to sit back and just pray, just pray that if I do the next bite, you know, the bites have got you, just, just, just into that dark period. So that's going to be a twitchy moment if that rod goes tonight. It really, really will. And you'll probably tell um, by my voice and my reaction if I do hook into something. Although I'm probably not going to be able to get a video of that. It's all going to be a big mad rush, but I'll definitely, definitely let you know. Obviously, if I hook into anything or um, got sank in the bottom of the landing net. So, <laughs> last night to do the damage, I'm off tomorrow, 11 o'clock. Please, 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 30 pounder would be the ultimate, ultimate goal now. I thought you would take things to a whole new level, um, but even a good 20, I'd go home happy. I'll go home happy now, to be honest. I'll go home happy now. So, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Jump straight back in my bivvy and uh, enjoy my view for the last, what, well, good few hours now, like I said, off at 11 in the morning. I'll see you in a bit. Well, that's it, lights out for me, and hopefully next time you see me, I've got a fish on the bank. It's half past 10 now. Good night, all. Right, wow, the reason I've got a rig in my hand, ready to go out in the pond, because I've just had one on that right hand rod off the big baited spot so plan of action is to get this back out it's a common it's not a massive common by any stretch but it's a fish but let's get this back out on the spot on the money and hopefully catch another one yes all right then guys biggest common for me so far get her up for you look at that absolutely pristine it's about 17 pound absolutely solid the fish is over the moon it's blowing a hoolie and now you can't see nothing let's get this common back <laughs> rod's already out let's catch some more <laughs> i put it up on the screen i had the thing fall over on me um, as in the light fell over so then i was all lit up on screen and the light cup fell over 
and then I tried getting a few more bits that come up and then the battery died so it was all a bit of a nightmare to be honest but I did manage to get some footage and it fell too it was the OG fish in the end it was the 18mm that was the right hand rod with the little pink topper fished on a single on its own with a little little tiny tiny little bag on it just over to the right just off the baited spot is exactly where I just had that common where I give him the big hit of bait today again another solid fish um, just over 17 pound I think it was in the end so nothing ginormous but definitely the biggest common on this trip so far so there it is guys I'm definitely getting some more sleep now so I've got a very very busy day tomorrow I've got to pick a, a, a dog up for my mum for the mother so keep 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 the mum happy and um, that's the plan of action tomorrow but it's like another two hours from here and then I've got to drive another four hours oh, yeah it's all it's all a bit um, bit busy so I'm gonna leave it at that guys get some sleep and hopefully I'll get uh, woken up pretty quickly with that one I'm after I'll see you in a bit Woo! it is now quarter past nine um, and to be honest I did have enough one in the night I think I'm now at six I'm at eight I'm on eight fish now um, but it was only a smaller common again it was like that common ad on the first day so to be honest with you I didn't get any video I just let it go and that was about six in the morning to be fair so now about half past six it was I remember looking at my thing and then what I'd done is put the rod back out <laughs> funny enough right hand rod again um, off the spot off the baited spot not directly on it and that was a rod but um, definitely felt the cold last night meaning not inside the busy bivy when you get out there was a very cold choppy wind going towards that jetty and I'm I would have liked to have thought I probably would have affected him to be honest it wasn't as warm as the last couple of nights it was the coldest night we've had in the, in the three nights I've done but I'm happy you know I, I can't complain you know what what a session I still time don't get me wrong I mean I've still got two hours or an hour and 45 minutes now to make it happen now, that rod could still go and I've still got that rod over to the left which has been left um, so yeah it could still happen it could still happen um, I, I'm gonna do the the horrible bit now the starting to slowly pack down as you all know it's always a hit and it's funny Dean just said you still start coming out of, start coming out of fishing mode now and now the work modes back on and um, yeah driving and life back to normality so <laughs> So I'm going to leave it at that guys, I'm definitely going to touch base with you before I leave or in between now and then probably. Um, I've obviously got that giveaway to give away as well, obviously the two pots of hook baits that I mentioned um, earlier on in the video. So my man to my word I will do that um, before you see me go or outro this video. Um, but until then, I'll see you in a bit and um, I think I'm going to have my last coffee with my last bit of milk. Look at that, that's worked out perfect. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh wow, that is the first trip to the car done um, and I've not I've literally got one more run now and I should be gone I've got 50 minutes left guys but now I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to do the giveaway now some of you may or some of you may not know um, we've just dropped our wafters um, on our parkerbaits.co.uk so they are now live and um, they've been doing fish up and down the country for months and ever since they've been released I'm getting pictures every single day of different very nice fish again all up and down the country. So how do you enter this one guys? There's a few things you need to do. So this will get you two pots, two pots of hook baits. You're going to get an OG fish and an OG fruit and nut completely free of charge sent to you. And what you've got to do is you've got to, you've got to comment down below Parker Bates Wafters and there's a few other little things you need to do. You need to like this video guys. You've also got to be subscribed to our YouTube channel, obviously Parker Brothers and we're nearly at that 10,000. By the time this video goes live, I'm sure we're going to be at that 10,000 anyway. And lastly, if you haven't already, you must be following our Facebook and also our Instagram, Parker Bates, on them too as well. And the last thing I wanted to say is with this, guys, if this video gets 500 likes, I'll give away five kilo of boilie, absolutely free. You can pick which, which bait you want of our ranges. If this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll give away 10 kilo of boilie, absolutely free, delivered to your door, whatever you want from our range. So there it is, something a little bit exciting and um, something to get commenting down below, guys. And like I said, um, an opportunity to win some of the Parker Bates products. 
you know, the last thing I would say on the Parker Bakes, guys, um, and this is something that's been on the back of my head for a long time, there's a lot of syndicate boys buying our bait, a lot of syndicate boys, and I totally respect where they're coming from, they don't want all the other boys on the um, syndicate knowing what bait they're on, but if you're looking for something a little bit different, and you are in a syndicate scenario, or even a you know, day ticket, or a little niche water that not many people are fishing, or the same bait goes in day in, day out. Parker Bates is definitely, definitely something you should have a look at. Um, we're a family run business, very passionate about our bait making. Um, it's myself, my brother primarily, my dad gets involved, my mum gets involved, and it's all good fun, it, it really, really is. And also a gentleman, without forgetting, a good, a good friend of mine, and a good friend of my dad's, Neil, also helping us as well. So again, if you're looking for something different, a bait that's got good nutritional value, stands out from the rest of the bait on the market without a doubt um, and to be honest with you i went to um the big one show and i saw various different baits there and um yeah ours is just a different level 100 percent a different level we steam our baits um, and also they got a two-stage dusting which nobody else does that i'm aware of i'm sure people will start popping out the woodwork over the duration of the next three four months but that there is a game changer in itself. There's food particles all over our baits. Yes, it takes a lot of time to do. Um, yes, it takes a lot of man hours to do, but the bait itself is just incredible. So to get your hands on the best freezer bait in the game, guys, head over to parkerbaits.co.uk and um, have a look, give it a try, you know, buy a kilo, fish it next to the bait you're fishing and see how good it does. You know, and I'll, I'll put my money where my mouth is, I really will, because I tell you now, the amount of people and the messages we get I've had it next to this bait, I've had it next to this bait, and these are big names, big, big names, big brands, and they've been doing two, three fish, or it's just been having one fish, but cut long story short, it's been doing better than the other bait. So there it is, guys, and like I said, I will, I've still got 50 minutes left, and um, there's a few little foods for thoughts for you, um, if you're thinking about something a little bit different in the bait world. Come on the carp, and time to start packing down this bivy, I think, very soon. I see you in a right then guys, that is me back in the car now, the gear loaded in the back, I've got the dog box next to me so I've got to now pick up this dog and then from there to head home. It's been an absolutely awesome, awesome uh, three days, 72 hours-ish, I've, I've had the time of my life down here and Dean when you watch this mate, um, honestly you have made my day mate or made 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 my year so far i've had probably one of the prettiest fish i've caught um this year without a shadow of a doubt and uh, my god i'm absolutely you know i'm you've just talking about it now i'm absolutely gagging to get back in them summer months and have another go and hopefully catch that absolute rhinocerpig that you've got in your back garden now guys i hope you like this video i really really do a lot of time a lot of effort's gone into it and um like i said get in the comments down below to enter our competition on this particular video but like i said if you have liked this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward and i'll see you same time next sunday 7 30. peace out all the best